Well, today is a big day. Uh, first of all, I have the first prototype intake for the SQ5 from Integrated Engineering going on my car, but more importantly, I have my old S4 intake out here. And that is because White House from the podcast, who you know with the Focus ST, just picked up a B8 and a half S4. So we're throwing my old S4 intake in his car. I could not be more excited. So like I said, this is a prototype intake from Integrated Engineering for the SQ5. The real one is coming. I don't know exactly when. You can bug their customer service for that. Um, Pete left me a, a nice, little, nice little note. I'm not sure if that's actually from him, but we'll see. And then they also sent Alex a little gift um, because that filter is very old. So Alex got a new filter with the new logo on it. Alex has refused to use a knife. No knives. Knives are dangerous. So instead he's doing this. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice. The box definitely was uh, a strong, not damaged and shipping. Nope, not at all. Look at that beauty. Oh, brand new filter. Brand new. So, if you want to pop the plastic off of that, I will show you guys how OG I am. This was one of the first intakes that Integrated made for the S4. It has their old logo on it. And then we have the new logo right here. But as you can see, this has uh, two years of, of love on it. And this one is a totally different color, brand new. So we'll swap that out. And in my box of goodies, they sent me one of the new Integrated Engineering t-shirts, which I may, I may need an adult to help. Integrated Engineering t-shirt, which is Generations of GTI, which unfortunately doesn't apply to me anymore, but I will definitely be wearing this. It's a very cool design. So you have one piece. Mine has one, two, this is heat shield. Oh, this is metal now. Ooh. They updated it to metal, so this will be a, uh, I think it'll go like that. What I didn't realize they were going to send me is this uh, this here fancy carbon fiber cover for the intake. This is a recent addition from Integrated. If you have an older intake, you can actually drill holes in it to mount this on it. Um, but the new ones have holes pre-drilled in them. Um, I may throw this on. I don't know. I don't have any other carbon fiber on the car, but we'll see. Very cool. Let's get the cars taken apart and we'll roll from here. So in today's double install, the first step is removing the plastic cowl here and also taking off the uh, little intake vent there. We'll put that back, that'll go right here. But in order to get access in here, it makes more sense to take it off. So it's two T25s. Alex is rolling on his right now. Um, and we're both gonna take these stupid snow shields off, which are just like little mesh screens. Uh, the reason I kept mine on as long as I did is because I was worried about water melting and going down there in the winter. I haven't driven the car in the winter, so I don't know why I was worried about that. But now that we have an open filter, uh, if water does come in, it'll just drip straight down. It's not gonna go on our filter at all. All right, Mr. Alex just disconnected the whole air box. Nicely done. All right, we're two done. clips on the back here, and then don't forget to disconnect the secondary air underneath. Uh, this mounting point you can just pull up on and it comes right out. So we both now should start our cars and run them open intake for extra horsepower. And pour water in there. And pour water in there cool for, for the cooling. Intake. Yeah, good point. Um, so now we're going to get some of this stuff disconnected. And then it's on to the, uh, the install part. So the only thing that's really a pain in the butt about getting your intake out is this hose right here. I ended up grabbing it with both thumbs and hooking it and just pushing down. But this is just a, a clamp. And now we're, uh, now we're open throttle body, which runs even better. So you should run like this at the track. But when you're on the street, don't run like this. The one thing to note on the SQ5 intake that you guys, when you eventually get these, will have to do, uh, they make this little clip-on piece that actually slides on here screws in with some, uh, I believe these are Allen keys, uh, and that creates a mounting point for the bottom of the intake over here. On the S4, Alex actually has mounting points here and there. Um, I believe we're gonna screw into this one for the intake uh, that supports kind of the back half of it there. But again, the, the SQ5 doesn't have those holes, so when this intake comes out, um, you're gonna have a mounting point that you stick onto the car and that will ultimately screw in there. So before I put absolutely everything back together, I wanna to give you an idea of what we're dealing with right here. Uh, I did rotate this fuel line so that it would go underneath and it just kinda of was a little funky. So I'm leaving this on top for now. I know people sell relocation kits, not the end of the world. Uh, we'll leave it here. It shouldn't hit the hood or anything. Um, one silicone piece, obviously to here, we do have the breather, which you can't see because it's, it's connected back here, trust me. 
Um, but yeah, so one silicone piece here, a hard piece here, and then another silicone piece to connect it to the heat shield, which is also has a, uh, which if you know from integrated, has a integrated velocity stack as well. Uh, next thing to do is to hook up the secondary air. That will actually sit down here like that, uh, which Mr. Weiss has, has already hooked up on his. Alex is pretty much together now. Um, actually, it is together now. This guy's in down there. He's going to screw. Oh, this already screwed back in. Almost. Almost. Getting there. Wow, Alex is, is pretty much done. Yeah. And I don't Sorry, think you're we, an amateur. Did we film the stock engine bay? It looks much better now. Yeah, you can Google it. You can Google it. <laughs> Alex is so impatient to hear his supercharger that I'm not even done yet. And he's ready to, uh, to hear the intake on the S4. Too, too many flames. Shooting flames, yeah. Alex's first supercharged car. Well, here she is all bolted up. The sunlight is like perfect. It's focused right here. Um, everything connected. This is the orientation of my hoses. If you would like to see that, uh, I probably should do something about this eventually, but not right now. Um, that mounting point is down there. Again, hooked all the way to the right of that last kind of section of the, uh, I guess, radiator support. Um, and then the secondary air is also hooked up down there. Next step, um, I'm going to try this carbon thing just to see how I like it. Uh, I probably will end up running open filter. I really like the way this looks, but um, we'll try tossing the carbon thing on and see how it does. Here she is with the, uh, the carbon piece on top there. Actually really nice how this mates up right here. Um, just hook this back in and a couple bolts on the back. One, two, three, four, five. I didn't miss one, right? No, I didn't. Five bolts on the back and uh, a little carbon action in the engine bay. The first piece of carbon on the SQ5 because I don't have carbon trim. Let's start it. Let's see how she sounds and I'm going to wake up my whole neighborhood. That's okay because I don't live here anymore. Alex is too busy to help me film. He's installing a hard wire for his radar. So you guys will sit right there. I hope you guys heard that because all my neighbors just heard my exhaust and that's it. Alright, so minor issue with uh, the loud exhaust setup that I have is that you can't actually hear the blower. Uh, I know this intake is very loud but I ran into this with my test pipe car as well where you couldn't really hear it uh, from inside of the car. I'm going to give it a good romp getting on the highway here and we'll see but we may run into that issue. Alright, I lied. Uh, it's definitely there. That is a noise that I missed quite a bit. Uh, let's see if we... Oh, I missed that a lot, actually. Hey, it actually makes some noise. Yeah, such a simple noise brings such a big smile to your face. <laughs> so much fun. So overall, really happy with the fit and finish of these integrated engineering intakes. I would say they're some of the best, if not the best, on the market as far as the actual like quality of the parts and, and the way that everything fits in the engine bay goes. Uh, and I really like that mounting bracket that they put in on the SQ5. I think that, that was a nice touch. Really excited for these intakes to go public and for you guys to be able to access them. So keep an eye on their page if you have any questions there. There's some lady looking at me like I'm a nut job filming in a car, but this is regular. Listen, lady, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to follow Alex on Instagram. Make sure to check out integrated engineering stuff. If you have an S4, the intake is available right now. Again, if you have an SQ5, you may have to wait a little bit. As always, thank you guys for watching. Go out there and spread some positivity, and I will catch you guys in the next video.